Question 6. DS. The average or arithmetic mean assessed unit price of X hotels is $175,000. And the average or arithmetic mean assessed unit price of Y hotels is $225,000. What is the average or arithmetic mean assessed unit price of the X plus Y hotels combined? Condition 1. X plus Y equals 24. Condition 2. X equals Y. Solution. Now let's solve this DS question using the variable approach. Hidden integers. Hidden integers represent the amount or number of tangible materials that cannot be further divided into fractions or decimals, i.e. the amount or number of apples, stamps, etc., and are represented by variables. The number of hotels should also be represented by hidden integers. Let's apply the three steps suggested previously. Follow the first step of the variable approach by modifying and rechecking the original condition and the question. We have to find the average or arithmetic mean assessed unit price of X hotels and Y hotels combined. The average or arithmetic mean assessed unit price of the X hotels is $175,000, and the average or arithmetic mean assessed unit price of the Y hotels is $225,000. The question can be converted into a separated 2x2 two two table. This is a type of question that has frequently appeared on the most recent GMATs. Let's assign different variables to different quantities as shown in the table. Number of first group hotels, X. Number of second group hotels, Y. The average or arithmetic mean assessed unit price of the first group of hotels, $175,000. The average or arithmetic mean assessed unit price of the second group of hotels, $225,000. Follow the second and third steps. From the original condition, we have two variables, x and y. To match the number of variables with the number of equations, we need two equations. Since conditions 1 and 2 will provide one equation each, c is about 70% likely to be the answer. Recall three principles and choose c as the most likely answer. Let's take a look at conditions 1 and 2 together. Condition 1 tells us that x plus y equals 24, and Condition 2 tells us that x equals y. So, x equals y equals 12, and the average or arithmetic mean assessed unit price of the x and y hotels combined is $175,000 times 12 plus $225,000 times 12 over 12 plus 12, which equals $200,000. The answer is unique, so the conditions combined are sufficient by CMT2, which states that the number of answers must be 1. So, C seems to be the answer. However, since this question is a hidden integer question, which is one of the key question types, we need to apply tip 4, which states that if a condition is too trivial, it cannot be the answer. Therefore, C is not the answer. We apply CMT4A, which states that if you get C is the answer too easily, you should also consider A and B as possible answers. This is important. Don't forget about hidden integer questions and tip 4, which states that trivial conditions cannot be the answer. Therefore, let's check each condition separately. Condition 1 tells us that x plus y equals 24. So, if x equals y equals 12, we get $175,000 times 12 plus $225,000 times 12 over 12 plus 12 equals 200,000. While if x equals 20 and y equals 4, we get $175,000 times 20 plus $225,000 times 4 over 20 plus 4 is equivalent to $183,333.
Since this answer is not unique, the condition is not sufficient by CMT2, which states that the number of answers must be 1. Condition 2 tells us that x equals y. Thus, 175,000 times x plus 225,000 times x over x plus x equals $200,000, which means that the average or arithmetic mean assessed unit price of the x plus y hotels combined is $200,000. This answer is unique, so the condition is sufficient by CMT2, which states that the number of answers must be 1. If both C and B appear to be possible answers, then B is always the answer rather than C. This question is a 50 to 51 level question that can be solved using the relationship between the variable approach and common mistake types 3 and 4 A or B. Additionally, on DS problems, if one condition has a statement with numbers and the other condition has a statement with a ratio or percent, then the condition with the ratio or percent is more likely to be the answer. Since condition 1 has numbers and condition 2 has a ratio, x is 100% of y, condition 2 is more likely to be the answer. Don't forget that the ratios are more likely to be the answer than the numbers. These types of questions show that all theories you learn regarding the variable approach are systematically connected to one another. Condition 2 alone is sufficient. So, B is the correct answer. Answer, B.